What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Aubrey and if you are new here, hi and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all of my Pottery Barn dupes that I have purchased for my home. huge fan of Pottery Barn. I love the brand. I love when you walk into their stores. It just feels homey. It feels expensive. It feels like it's luxury. It's quality. And so I've always loved Pottery Barn. They've been one of my favorite home brands for, oh gosh, a long time. So we are going to jump right into it. The first Pottery Barn dupe I am going to show you guys is my dining room chandelier. Now on PotteryBarn.com, they have a chandelier that I absolutely fell in love with. It's the Luca Iron Chandelier. I love that it was like thin, it was like elongated. I love the clean lines of it and I love the candle opera style. I just didn't love the price point. So on PotteryBarn.com, the Luca Iron Chandelier is going for $5.99. And I just, y'all, I just didn't want to pay that. So I really searched high and low. For a, chandelier, for a chandelier that was similar. And I actually was able to find one that I actually loved even more than the Pottery Barn one that they have for sale. I found a chandelier off of Wayfair.com. It's called the Paulina Six Light Candle Style Chandelier. And I actually love this even more than the Pottery Barn one. Now I'm sure Pottery Barn's quality is you know, top notch, but I was actually pleasantly surprised by this chandelier that I bought from Wayfair.com. I love that I had like wood accents on this chandelier, which kind of tied in the warmer wood tones of our home. So instead of it just being plain black, it actually has some uniqueness to it with the wood tones. I purchased it for $340 and currently right now it's 50% off. So regularly it's $677.54. That's the MSRP that it's going for on Weaver.com. Obviously that is more expensive than the Pottery Barn one, um, but this one's half off. So you, get, you can get the same type of style. Now it's not identical to the one that's on Pottery Barn, but it's pretty similar. So you have the candle, you have the candle abra chandelier style. You have the black, it's black. You have those nice clean long lines. And I just love the way that this looks over my dining room table. So this was a really great purchase. And I do have to say that the quality of it is, it's fantastic. It's heavy. Um, it was really easy to install. You guys can check out that video right here. I showed you guys, um, how we installed that chandelier over our dining table when we first moved in. The next dupe that I'm going to show you guys are my dining room chairs. Now when I was on Pottery Barn a couple years ago, I saw these really gorgeous brown, rich leather, tuft dining room chairs and I thought they were like, they were stunning, okay. But I don't want to pay $700 for one dining room chair, like I need four. and. Pottery Barn was selling one chair for $700. And y'all, no, 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 no. I could not, no, did not spend that. But I did find a really great dupe on overstock.com. They're called the Abingdon Tucked Wingback Hostess Chairs, and they're for a set of four. Now, currently, these chairs are out of stock, but I believe that they were about $100 a piece, which is a great deal. I love that they're tough they gave me that leather look that i really wanted from pottery burn they're brown leather they're tough they're easy to clean super durable we've had them for about um, about two years right now and they still look brand new um, we did have to put them together when they came but that was really easy and they've been really great they've held up great with my three kids um, they're actually really comfy as well so like when you sit down it has a really nice cushioned seat to it and I love them. They look really nice. They look expensive, um, but they definitely, they're not real leather. It is a faux leather, um, but it doesn't look cheap. It doesn't look like, a, like you, I feel like sometimes you can tell when, oh, that's fake leather. Oh, that's real leather. But I feel like these chairs are actually like right in the middle. Um, I mean, obviously it's still faux leather, so but they look good and they don't look too cheap. So um, that was a really great purchase and I've loved them. I do wish like if I could have my ideal dining room, I would probably have white fabric chairs with my table and the jute rug. I think that would look 
so sharp, really clean. But I think I am out of my depths with having white fabric chairs right now at this point in my life with our kids. It would just, they wouldn't last long. They would get down. It, it's just, it wouldn't be a good story. So um, right now I am in the midst of having furniture that's going to be easy, durable, cleanable, um, and you know, that can last. So anyways, those are my dupes for the Pottery Barn tufted chairs. All right, my next dupe from Pottery Barn are these seagrass baskets. Um, I love the basket collection that Pottery Barn has going on, but I just don't feel like you should have to pay that price for them. I mean, you can honestly f buy these types of baskets from anywhere. These are the baskets that I found. These were about $14.99 for a large one. You can get these at Home Goods, Hobby Lobby. Um, Target, Wayfair, Overstock, I mean pretty much you name it, you can pretty much find these baskets just about anywhere but at a fraction of the cost. So I do have about seven or eight of these in my mudroom. I have a lot of cubbies that I need storage for so I love pairing these in my mudroom. They look really cute, They add a, I love the color, they add a lot of texture and it's really nice to just store things in here. So in my mudroom, I'll put like my kids' shoes, my shoes, my husband's shoes, um, you know, hats, whatever. I just kind of need to store, put up in a way. These are great. So it can hide your storage, but also can look really cute at the same time. Right, my next dupe from Pottery Barn is another basket. They have these Havana handwoven seagrass utility baskets in size medium or large. They range from $25 up to $39. But you guys, I found a great dupe for these again. But I actually found my baskets, which look like this. Literally, they look so similar. Um, but I got these for $7.99 at Target. So this is like a smaller one. And then they have a larger one, which is about $14 to $15. So it's still, again, that's half the cost of what you would pay at Pottery Barn for these utility baskets. Now I actually have my dark brown baskets. I use these in my pantry. Um, I'll do a pantry tour soon and I'll show you guys how I organize my pantry with all of my baskets and jars. But this is a really good purchase from Target and they're really sturdy. They're not like flimsy. Sometimes I've seen baskets where the bottoms can be like really cheap. Um, but these are really great, really good quality and they've held up really well with my kids. So like my kids can take these out of the pantry, they can help themselves to chips, cookies, if they're hungry, whatever they need. Um, they're really great for that. All right, this next dupe, I'm literally so shocked that I can't even, I, bleh, I can't even believe that I found this deal on these baskets. So Pottery Barn has these decorative, decorative split wood square basket wall art in a set of three, and they're right now they're on sale for $103 which ends up about being $34 a piece, which isn't bad, but y'all, I found these baskets at our, my local Hobby Lobby store. Um, they're up in my playroom right now, and they look so cute. They look so cute. I was having like a really great shopping day at Hobby Lobby. I found all of these great things. They were having everything was like 66% off, something crazy like that. And I found these identical baskets, but they were $11.99. $11.99. I was tripping out. I didn't know where I was going to put them at the time when I bought them, but I found the perfect place for them in my kids' playroom above the couch. And it just looks so cute. I was so shocked. I came home so I'm like, look, I told my husband, I was like, look, this is a crazy deal. Look what I got. Um, but they look so cute. Now, obviously you can use them as trays. You can use them for like on the center of a coffee table, but I did hang them above my sofa. I wanted something that was kind of like big and bulky, took up a lot of space. I didn't want anything that was like kind of small. So I love how large these baskets are and they just add a really cool vibe to my kids playroom so I was really happy with that purchase and also for like $11.99 honestly if I didn't even have anywhere to put it I would have just held on to it I don't even know but they're super cute and I really love them so that was a really great dupe so the last dupe that I'm going to show you guys is my bed 
when I was putting together an e-design for my bedroom, I really wanted something that was going to be timeless. It was, I wanted it to be elegant. I didn't want nail heads. I didn't want it to be tufted. I wanted something that was going to just be a timeless piece that as the years go on, I don't feel like I need to get a new bed because it's out of style. So I found this really beautiful bed off of PotteryBarn.com that I absolutely loved. It's the Harper Upholstered Tall Storage Platform Bed. I just loved, I really love the headboard. That's what I really fell in love with at the beginning. I love the clean squared off lines. I think it's just so timeless, um, but I just didn't want to pay the price of what Pottery Barn is charging. So Pottery Barn is charging $2,959 for their platform bed. Now obviously their bed comes with storage underneath. It is customizable so they offer a bunch of different fabric options. You can also do nail heads, no nail heads, um, which is really great. Um, but if you are looking for a dupe, I found the most perfect dupe off of Wayfair.com. It's called the Stanford Upholstered Standard Bed. I, when I saw it, I just, I just knew, I just knew that that was going to be our bed. I can envision it perfectly in my head of what's going to look like. Um, the only thing is that off of Wayfair.com, their fabric options, like the photos of their fabric options, aren't very clear. They're not very you know, good as, you know, Pottery Barn. I felt like if you were gonna buy a $3,000 bed off of Pottery Barn, you better have some really good photo samples of like what the fabric is, and they do. But Wafer.com doesn't, so I did take a gamble. I went through all of the reviews that they had on this bed, and this one lady posted a really great photo of what it looked like, so I was really hoping, and I was crossing my fingers that it was gonna be identical to like what I was seeing online, and it was. It looks so good. So for a king size bed, it's $6.59. Right now it's 30% off on wafer.com. And this is by the brand Laurel, Laurel Foundry Modern Farmhouse. I've seen some of their stuff on wafer.com and it's really good, it's really cute. So this was a really great dupe. Now this bed doesn't have a storage like the Pottery Barn bed, but other than that, it's pretty identical it's a platform it has the same it has the same headboard and it's great I love it and for the price you couldn't beat it I thought it was a pretty good deal for a king size bed so overall those are my pottery barn dupes that I currently have I do have a few more dupes that I'm saving for a future video um, that are in my bathroom um, but I'm gonna show you guys that in another video but for furniture wise and things around my house, those are the dupes that I've been able to find that are so affordable, they look great, um, and I just absolutely love them. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe below. You guys can turn on that ring notification so you guys can get a notification when my videos come out. Obviously all those, doing all three of those things just help my videos be seen on YouTube and um, to just help my, get my content out there. So anyways, until next time, I will see you guys later.